Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. This is episode number 13 of the 120 days to jam use of English with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be answering jam emphatic stress questions. I introduced emphatic stress in episode 2. In that episode, I gave the rules of emphatic stress, how to answer emphatic stress questions within 5 seconds and without even going through all the options in details. In that episode, we solved amazing questions under emphatic stress. Episode 13 continues that part. We shall solve more questions under emphatic stress to refresh your memory. If at this point you still don't understand or know how to solve emphatic stress as fast as possible, I recommend or I advise that you go back to episode 2 and learn emphatic stress from basis. We are answering questions from the Flash Learners Jam application. As usual, if you've not installed and activated your copy, feel free to do so. And one good thing about the app is that it works without the internet. Once you've installed and activated, you practice and enjoy the amazing features offline, like I explained in episode number 9. This question says, Everyone departed from the hall at noon. Everyone departed from the hall at noon. And the emphatic stress is noon. The law is simple. Any option that contains the word that is stressed is automatically wrong. That is one. And any option that tells us or that asks a question or that gives an answer that warrants the question would be correct. In this case, A is automatically wrong, option C is wrong, option D is wrong. Option B doesn't contain noon. And it says, when did everyone depart from the hall? If I say, when did, when did anyone depart from the hall? When it speaks of time, what time? Did anyone, did everyone depart from the hall? If you say at noon and you stress that time, it means you are stressing my answer. What time? Noon. So that question warrants the answer. Option B is comfortably correct. And the secretary general wrote to the Republic of Kalakuta. Wrote. The reason wrote is emphasized to tell you that the president did not speak to them. He did not slap them. He did not do anything else. He only wrote. Take note of wrote. Don't change what he's saying. Okay? And looking at the options, option B, write. Wrote and write, they are simply a case of present and past tense. So, the word emphasized should not repeat, whether in the present or in the past tense. And looking at option D, it says that, did the Republic of Kalakuta receive a letter from the Secretary General? Now, there is no letter in the sentence. Apart from wrote, the sentence should remain the same. Don't utter it. And option A says, who wrote? A contains wrote. That makes it wrong. We need not analyze. And let's take a look at option C. Did the Secretary General speak to the Republic of Kalakuta? If I say, did the Secretary General speak to the Republic of Kalakuta? You have the right to say that he did not speak, he wrote to emphasize wrote. So wrote and speak, they are opposite. 
and it makes sense. Option C is the correct option. And the next question says, she puts the spoon on the chair. I did not say she put the spoon on the table, on the chair. Looking at A, there is chair in option A, chair in option C, and chair in option D. So, they are wrong. Option B, did she put the spoon on the table? If I say, did she put the spoon on the table? You have the right to stress the fact that she put the spoon on the chair, not the table. So any option that repeats the stress word is wrong. And any option that every other sentence or word remains the same, the only thing that is changed is the emphatic stress. Is correct. The bed is in the room. In. The bed is in the room. A. Was the bed in the room? B. Was what is in the room? C. What is the bed in the parlor? A, B, and D, they contain in. So they can't be the correct answer. Option C says, Where is the bed? Where is the bed is a question that can warrant the answer. The bed is in the room to show you the place. The big bag belongs to grandmother. The big bag belongs to grandmother. Not grandfather, not grand sister, not great grandfather, not ancestors. So, option A, B, and C, grandmother repeated. Automatically, they are wrong. Option D is the correct answer here. And the next question, and our last question for today is, the traditional chief narrated the story to the children. Option B contains narrated, wrong, narrated is emphasized, so option B is automatically wrong. Option A, the children heard the story from the traditional chief. The children heard the story from the traditional chief. Option C, the children could not listen to the traditional chief. D, that the chief hide the story from the children. When it comes to emphatic stress, like I told you, only the word that is stressed should change. Every other thing should repeat. Don't manipulate the sentence. Keep the sentence exactly the way it is, but only the word that is stressed should change. Looking at option D, from narrated, it changed to hide. Every other thing remains. Did the chief hide the story from the children? Did the chief narrate the story to the children? Sentence remains intact, only the emphatic stress is changed. If I say, did the chief hide the story from the children? You have the right to say, no, he did not hide it, he narrated, narrated, not hide. So, that will warrant the answer. Ladies and gentlemen, for your assignment, open the Plasma Jam application, go to English as a subject, then go to Topic, choose Emphatic Stress, as a topic and answer all the questions. There are questions I want you to look at, refresh your mind. The good news is that if you have any challenge, you can always reach me to talk to me about questions, about activation. See you. Take care.